Okay, so today is not an ordinary recording. It's not an ordinary adventure. It is really something. don't know if I've ever experienced and if many of you have ever experienced. I'm in a different jungle today. There's a lot of green, there are some caterpillars, there is a lot of trees. There are actually um, 2,000 trees where I am and there is a hundred thousand shrubs and there are also two fig trees which each are a hundred years old and each one of them weighs 3.5 tons. But there's something else that's very peculiar about the jungle that I'm in today. And that is, if you look over here, a 40 meter waterfall, a man-made waterfall. We are inside the Shanghai airport in Singapore. And this is so fascinating. But before I tell you more about this waterfall, I'm just gonna put this little guy back and I'm gonna tell you a few things that I have discovered during my afternoon here at the airport. And it's, it's, it's been quite an adventure. So I would like to share more of that with you guys. Now I'm gonna put this back. Found him here. There you go. Okay, so I've mentioned to you that it is a man-made waterfall and that this is a man-made forest and it's similar to an aviary where you enclose birds okay this is a tropical aviary it's a tropical enclosed um, forest here in the middle of singapore now something that's really interesting about this waterfall that i have to share with you guys are that one it is a rain water vortex you heard it right if you look up to the roof and you look across to where the sun is kind of shining and reflecting and it looks like fins on the outside of the building those fins are actually pipes and those pipes uh, divert the water and also spreads the water so that it can be uh, spread across this beautiful oculus in in an equal in an equal manner and that it can fall down right through the eye and it goes 40 meters down seven stories down um, into basement three so at basement three there are various pumps and there's also a big water catchment from there and they use the, the water also for irrigation and the same with the rainwater when it rains a lot and all the tanks are full and there's an overflow they use the rainwater and the recycled water for various projects with inside this structure one being of course watering all of these magnificent plants and i'm just going to repeat that there are 10 no 100 yes 100 000 different shrubs or a hundred thousand shrubs not a difference in species a hundred thousand shrubs that's been planted right here inside this beautiful man-made structure there's also two thousand trees that have been planted in here but i want to share something else about these beautiful fig trees which are not in the level where we are at the moment but those fig trees came all the way from Spain. It took nine months on a boat and they came all the way to Singapore. And then it took two years of nursing, getting them to adapt and getting them to uh, feel at home here in this beautiful tropical um, aviary. But look over here. Now the waterfall is changing into a big, big mist spray. It's so so cool um, 
also because this structure is built in a dome-like shape, it helps a lot with the circulation of hot air, it brings in a lot of cool air, and of course, it also reduces a lot of emissions. Come on, let's go. This is so fascinating. Wow, so cool. As you can see, there's just so many people here. And again, this is nature's genius. It emulates so much of nature. Of course, this also supplies a lot of moisture within this enclosed structure that helps the plants to flourish. And of course, there's a lot of organic matter that gets thrown down by the trees. And all of this becomes a conducive, conducive ecosystem for decomposing, for natural life to live, and everything in between. But hang on a minute. Stop. I have a challenge for you guys today. Look up. Behind this bridge where the sky train is currently crossing, there it goes. Woohoo! I want you to back up with me a little bit. Come on, back up, back up, back up, back up. How in this 360 degree dome will we get up there onto that bridge, the glass bridge? Because that is the highest point that we can actually reach to see this beautiful, beautiful waterfall. And it's also called the HBAC Rainwater Catchment Waterfall. Okay, and it's within the uh, airport that's called the Jewel. So, shall we try? I think so. Let's go. You can see like a lot of, lot of social interaction happening. People taking beautiful photos, beautiful selfies. <laughs> A beautiful for humans to together. Sorry. <laughs> Passing some of the Disney characters. While we are actually doing this, Disney is also celebrating their hundred years of existence. Whoa, look at that. This is really cool. I wonder if many of you have photos. Okay, I have a plan. But before we go up, I just want to say that this water, the water here at the waterfall, gets tested on a regular basis to make sure that the, cir the circulated water is actually clean. Because obviously, a lot of this water and a lot of circulation can also create contaminated water. But don't worry, the people have got it covered here in Singapore. They take good care of the water quality. But come look here. Did you know, intentionally, this black circle donut around the waterfall was made to capture the beautiful, beautiful architectural artwork that, that, that has been created here. Um, and if you just look into this beautiful black dome, you'll see such, such a magnificent reflection. You can actually applaud it. And it is a whole symphony of rainbows and sunlight and reflection and nature and humans. And I don't know. It's, it's quite a fascinating experience for me being here. It, it feels like I'm standing inside a real rainforest. But okay, I, I've worked out a route for us and it's gonna be the long way up and the short way down. No, 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 come this way. Let's take the stairs. While I'm taking the stairs, I really want you to have a look at all of the people, all of the lights, all of the diversity i think that's something we can definitely celebrate with this beautiful structure is when you look back and you just see all of these people here that's really really so cool 
and everybody coming together to really look and marvel around the beauty of nature that's quite fascinating okay i'm still on the right track going up the stairs now mm. something that i also like is that everywhere you find these uh, little boards that tells you information boards that tells you about the plant and this one is all about the java fan palm but it's not the one i'm actually touching at the moment if you go all the way up 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 that beautiful palm is a tall palm that can reach 45 meters in height and it's cultivated for its ornamental value because it looks very beautiful in gardens and people really like to plant it for its aesthetic beauty. The upper part of this smooth trunk is usually covered with a stringy fiber and the leftovers from old leaves. I've really seen many birds make nests in these palms. They are indeed super, super beautiful. So, oh, again, it's really cool seeing all of this and knowing that there is a balance, there's a harmony, there is a beautiful dance between humans and nature within the structure. And I'm reminding you, I'm in an airport, okay? In a place where airplanes land. It's not a garden. It is one of the biggest indoor gardens in Singapore. It's not a jungle. It is a man-made structure. That is cool, okay. Whoa, I can feel how cool it is here. Whoa, that's so nice. You can feel um, how much the, the plants and the circulation and the fresh air keeps on moving within, within the structure, within this dome. And that's really cool. Let's see. I think we should have a look here. Do we see see any creatures not here something that i that i'm not very sure about are these pink uh, fertilizers that are being used i'm not sure how organic they are and i see they are a slow release and you see quite a lot of mycelium uh, happening around the fertilizer which are probably good for the plants and their roots but again i kind of question how how environmentally friendly the fertilizers are um, but okay, many, many, many improvements can be made. But this is cool. I found a, a snail shell. So I'm not sure it might be, it might be that this is for snails of, to poison them. I, I can, oh, again, so cool. Wow. It's down here. It's the air vents. In some parts of the of this whole airport, the air vents are actually covered and camouflaged by seating. So a lot of sustainability, a lot of upcycling um, has gone into the design. Let's have a look here. Giant lily turf. This one is from Southeast Asia. Uh, it's this guy. No, it must be this guy. Yeah. And this is an evergreen perennial, perennial and it forms clumps of long dark green grass-like leaves growing about 90 centimeters tall and it also produces white flowers. Mm, must be this guy. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, we need to go up more. How do we go up more? This way? Oh, sorry. Thank you. It's making it through the jungle. Whoa. If you look down here, it's really cool. There's a little walkway down here through a bamboo forest. A lot of diversity and a lot of planning that has gone into this structure, which I can really, really applaud people for. Ah, oh, look, there goes the sky train. It's so futuristic in here. So the sky trains take you from one terminal to the next terminal. 
They are not driven by people. They are all automatic and they are all working on time. No human intervention. Just a lot of tech and scheduling. Okay. Ah. We're gonna make it all the way up. Whoa, look, look, look. Look at the light and how beautiful it looks over there. Goodness gracious, this is so fascinating. Inside this airport, there are also some robots that hands out candy. There are robots who are actually there to uh, stop you and give you safety uh, precautions and tell you about how to keep safe. There are actually robots that stop and collect water bottles and... Woo! Watch out! Caution! Wet floor! Super slippery! What I wanted to say, there are even robots that will bring you water bottles to your hotel inside this airport. Oh, okay. We've made it up from that floor. And we need to get up to the bridge there. It seems like we're making a steady Oh, some really nice seeds. These seeds are ready to be harvested. Okay, let's go across. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh no. That entry is... We're on the East Trail. Now, perhaps we need to take It seems like we can't go any higher. We might have to go from the other side. Shall we go? Whoa, it's so high. And look, now we are inside the shopping center, inside the mall, inside the airport. It's really mind-blowing. Oh, I have a plan. Let's take the escalator. Oh my goodness, there goes a dinosaur. so much fun I think one thing that can really be celebrated is human creativity oh over there human creativity and just you know human imagination and everything that's happening here these are all from humans it's all from people like me people like you people like us thinking rethinking um, a, a world beyond imagination okay Beep beep, watch out for the dinosaur. Ah. Oh. Wow. And I have to remind you. A few seconds ago, we were inside a jungle. We were inside a jungle with a waterfall. And like that, we were right here inside a shopping mall. And this is all real. It's, it's as strange as it can be, but it's, it's all real. Actually, up here, there's even a 250 meter um, rope bridge that you can jump on. That was hand woven by someone. How crazy is that? Okay, so we've kind of reached the summit. Sorry. And we're definitely in the canopy of this jungle. Whoa, it is a ticket attraction, which means we have to pay. Um, so we'll probably have to pause here for a moment. But before we do that, hang on. Hi! I am Dora the Explorer. Mm, no, I'm Dr. Nicolene and I am here exploring the most 
significant, most amazing man-made jungle and waterfall at the Shanghai airport here in Singapore. And I'm really blown away to think that this right over here is an actual real tree. It is one of 2,000 trees. Quick, have a look. There's somebody walking on the roof. And this is what I've said earlier. There's a lot of maintenance that happens all the time. People checking the water pipes, checking the water uh, quality and all of that. Hang on. Really, really interesting. Well, okay, let's go around this way and see what's happening. It feels like I'm in uh, a city or a town in Europe, but I'm actually on the seventh floor of the airport. So let's have a look. So many things happening, people, a lot of cool creativity. Whoa, a lot of open space. Again, look at all of these trees. Well, this makes me happy. When I see holes in the leaves, it means something must be eating them. And I don't know what these are. Little dry balls. Okay, let's have a look this way. Oh my goodness. It's like really, really... Ooh! Even these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blinds, they open automatically. And they, depending on which side the sun is um, during the day, they come over, they block out uh, excess, excess sunlight, and it also helps to cool down this beautiful structure. So there's just been so much thought that's gone into this whole beautiful structure and this whole beautiful creation. And for a moment, I just, I just really invite you to look. What are we looking at? It's almost like an anthill for humans. Oh, it's really, really so profound. I think it's in times like these that I am so excited about being a human and about being alive in, um, in 2023. And I'm excited to think that if we work with nature and alongside nature, and if we actually use nature's wisdom and we catch and we store all of that energy and all of that um, excitement and all of that genius, that really some cool things like this can, can happen and yeah Hi, it's Peter Nicolene from Tamed and Untamed Studio. As usual, if you enjoyed our content, give us a shout out so that we can create especially what you would like to see next. And don't forget to leave a comment below. 